Hello everyone, and welcome back. Dinner Fried Dinner Steak here, and well, Chester's alive. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, let's just say Chester didn't meet his maker last night. So, I'm just glad. It would have been hard to go on without his, that. He, like, he's so cute. I, I'm gonna order a Chester plush someday. But our meat is coming in pretty decently. We don't have... Oh, the berry... I bet the berries despawned. Oh, no, they didn't. We're gonna, we're gonna pick those berries. Because we need to get some food going here. I think I have... A, oh, God. Do I... I not only have the honeycombs. I have the wood. I just need to get four bees and come springtime. Well, the honey box. That's pretty good. Oh, getting cold, getting cold, getting cold. All right. Actually, I read something again on the wiki page. I don't need to keep the freaking hat. Please don't tell me I can eat. Oh, that's full. Okay. Oh, it's getting cold. Er, put the earmuffs on. Those are easy to make. Okay. Yeah, because if I leave the thermal stone there. Alright. Put a little bit more in the fire. Wilson's gonna starve here. And that's not good. Let's put some of this small jerky on there. And we can throw that on there. Actually, you know what would be great right now? Probably some meaty stew. Now, but that's going to take up a lot of jerky. Uh, we can just cook that for now and see what happens. This is going to be a rough winter. Not going to lie about that. We're low on sticks. Grass is going to be okay. The logs, the poop's going to keep us afloat. We got meatballs out of that. Meatballs are good. Okay, guys. So, Chester, Chester's alive. I gotta remember to keep my mouth right here. Like, my nose is right on my pee pad. So, there's a lot of sh stuff going on to the south. The lakes are frozen, so frogs are off limits. Uh, I don't want to visit the cacoons just yet. Um... Let's go visit. Oh, let's go take the stone. Let's go take the thermal stone and just that. Let's go put our hat on. I'm going to make a sewing kit. Uh, wherever that might be. I think that might be actually in the dresses. I don't know where a sewing kit is, but I'm going to make one. Because I am going to want to sew some of this stuff together. I should probably go to the murder scene where the hounds are so I can start getting hound teeth so I can make a panic room. And basically what a panic room is, is when the hounds kind of come in, they kind of all funnel into one area and then they just get absolutely destroyed, picking up all this poop. And by all this poop, I mean all this poop. I'm also going to want to deconstruct all these glaciers so when... Oh yeah. Rabbit traps, cooked morsels. I can just smell death, and it smells pretty good to me. Alright, is this your foxhole? That is your foxhole. Let's set the trap. Right here. Told you guys this winter hunting would be a good spiel. And we can get some more grass out of it. I think I'm going to be using grass more as a fuel source. Yeah, we can... Oh, stone's already cold, man. That stone does not last very long. So yeah, Chester's back. He came in literally at the end of the video. Uh, I, I was I was honestly playing you guys out. I knew Chester was going to come back. But, you know, that just shows you that Chester is quite the tank. I mean, he had 450 health, and those hounds were going pound town on him. Wilson only has 150, and the highest health you can possibly have in this game is with Winfrig at three, 300 or 350. So yeah, that just shows you that those hounds are brood all. Stone's cold. Yeah, and winter is not being any fun or anywhere nice to me right now. Yeah, I'm the beef. I'm glad I made the choice to sit with the beef low because these guys are going to be literally my fuel supply for the winter. And come spring, 
I'm gonna have crops coming out of my butt like no tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. I'm probably gonna start taking damage here. Yeah. It's so cold. So cold. Come on, baby. Where's the fire pit? Show me the fire pit. One, two. Thank you. Just keep the. Just I'm gonna keep drying those morsels out. Pretty much. Where's the bird? We, oh, we got a feather. Oh, we got. You know, let's do some organization here. Okay, I want this pile over here to be like resources. So, put the stone. We can put the flint. We can. You know. How do I cut this in half? Okay, that just puts it automatically in there. You know, we can put the grass in here. Uh, go over here. You know, we can grab the tool site. We can put that in here. You, we can put Glomer's wings over here. I'll kind of have this be kind of like a miscellaneous thing. This will be... Well, actually, uh, let's keep... Let's have this be sort of the miscellaneous... Or sort of more of the higher valuable goods. Yeah, we can put that in there. Like, I mean, I guess these can be considered the higher value goods. But yeah, as I dump all this stuff out, I can see that I'm having a bit of an issue with my organization. And that's always fun to have an issue with organization. I can put this over here. We can put the shaver. I don't even want to look at the freaking shape. Oh, I didn't even put the trap back down. Darn it. And we can get this thing going here pretty goodly. Chester, what's up, dude? You're back. All right. Let's get cooking here. Uh, looks like the corn's going to go bad. Looks like we're going to have a berry to throw in there. And I, might, I might harvest these berries, too. Hound shouldn't be coming for a couple more days. That's all. I, I'm... I'm not just gonna say I'm living on borrowed time, but you know, it could be a lot better. We definitely have enough poop though to last us a while. Oh man, this drying rack is just spitting meat out. I never utilized the drying rack affectionately. I didn't realize how good it was. Uh, we're gonna want some more ice for the ice flamomatic, and that actually gives us ratatouille, which is such a good and eh, it's a decent thing gives you 35 hunger other than that we're looking uh, we're looking we're running low not on actual meat but we're running low on filler and what filler is it's the berries you know it's the stuff so you put your meat in you put your meat okay so you put your small jerky in you put in your monster meat and you put in your berries the berries are filler they're just two because you need four items in the crock pot. Okay, you need four items. <sighs> you need four items, and the berries are kind of well. You need the berries for the recipe, but they're 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 filler because they can be anything. It be carrots, berries, ah, oh, the meatballs. I tell you what, that does wonders for the human body. I might actually make a couple more. But yeah, and I'm just running low on filler. You can't use flowers for filler. And that's kind of why you want a vegetable garden, too. Um, that's going to be a little bit pushing for the insanity-wise. We got, see, we got jerky coming in at a very stable rate. It's, we shouldn't have to worry about hunger too much. Let's get the, where do we put all that flint? Yeah, give me that. We're gonna make a pickaxe. Cause come morning time, we're gonna do some mining. Fire is running a bit low. Let's put. Actually, I can't see the timer again because of the poop. We have beefalo. Wait, the poop. Uh, no, because the recording software that I use. It um. It 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 puts stuff up there. I'm just trying to like. My face just wants to gravitate over here. 
So if I move... If I move the mic here... I think this is actually pretty good. Yeah, I can rest my face on it a little bit. It is a little bit of approachment here, so I'm just going to move it back just a smidgen. So yeah, there you go. Because my mouth is right here. Uh, I'm going to burn beefalo wool. Wow, that does wonders too. <laughs> I love how the, the eye bone kind of just does that little cute little thing there. And yeah, this is, this is the, oh my god, we're only 10 minutes in? That's crazy. This is such a fun game. Uh, we, well, I mean, when you're not going crazy and dying, but still, this game is just... Oh, you know what? The mushrooms. I completely forgot. The mushrooms can be used as filler. Uh, that completely skipped over me. That completely phased me. The mushrooms can be used as filler. Uh, I'm mostly going to be wanting to pay a quick little trip up here. to the pigs because they murdered I I'm will I'm, I'm I'm willing to bet you there's no meat up here Oh they're all asleep though That's interesting Why are they why are all the pigs asleep Why am I cold Gonna have to burn a berry bush for this one. Not one of my greater moments, but we have cacoons we need to go murder. So let's go murder some cacoons. There we go. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, that's good meat. Very good meat. Hi, we haven't checked our traps too. Oh, did you just hear that? I have my sound effects up more than my music, so I'm really hearing the um, really hearing the wind go, and that just sounds horrible, you know. But yeah, you know, if we can just pick up this stuff, that's yeah, another. I I play Fallout 4, so I'm like I'm kind of used to like, hey, am I gonna get a sneak attack critical here? Like that's what's in the back of my head. Like, all right, I've snuck up on the thing and it's sleeping. God, is that loud? That's really loud. Oh, I'm freezing again. That's not really good, and I don't want to burn down the, the stump. Uh, what I'll do, though, is I'll keep the torch out for a little bit. Ooh, glomer's wings. I can. There's more Glomer's wings. I didn't even see that. Uh, what I will do is I can pretty much, I think, can I, I can't burn the stumps. That's stupid. Why can't I? Why can't why can't I burn the stumps? It's getting late. It'll be dark soon. Yes, it will. We got some red cap, which we can use as plenty good filler. Uh, we've neglected um, we've neglected our. Ooh, come on. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Relax. Everyone, relax. Everyone, relax. It is a health a second here. I'm losing a health a second. Come on. Damn it, let's go. The grass in this game will be the death of me. We can put that in there, and I'm pretty sure that'll still give us what you would call it. Um, no, do not kill the thing. Just stuff it in there so it dies. Hey, bird. Yeah, we can put the red cap in. Yeah, because there's meatballs. Yes. Balls of such succulent meat. Um, my light just ran out. Oh, did I have the torch in my hand the whole time? I did. Uh, ooh, should I dry the meat or should I make, um, should I dry the meat or should I make a turkey dinner with it? You know, that's always a great question to ask. I think I can, I think I can use a little bit of the meat and a little bit of the red and green cap. 
Actually, I don't want to risk the red cap, so I'll throw in... I don't want to throw in a berry, so I, I don't even have any berries to throw in. So, rip that recipe. That's probably going to be a bomb. And if so, so be it. Uh, let's put just a, another piece of grass on there. Uh, where is the... Yes, teeth. In survival mode... Do we have enough? Oh, we got we got meatballs out of it. That's great. Okay, do we have enough for a tooth trap? Because I really like to make a tooth trap, and I can't find it. Actually, I think in fighting, can we make a pan flute yet? Oh, I hear something making hungry noises. Um, poop. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to put my meat on. Yeah, why not? Let's just put both fit on there. Eat some of our meatballs, which are nice and good for us. We can put a cattail away. Uh, I don't know if we have a rot farm going yet, but we can put our rot away. Glomer's wings. Oh, which are not stackable. That's interesting. Uh, we got some more stone. We can put that in the stone collection. The rabbit will be starved in a little bit, but I think if we go to our fighting, yeah, we can uh, we can make a couple pan flutes. We can make a fire dart. You know, a fire dart, a sleep dart, and a blow dart. A sleep dart is a crow feather. It's a jet black feather. And we have enough to make fire darts, though. That's kind of cool. Let's go do that. Because, oh, hit the wrong button there. Uh, there's reeds down in the swamps. So yeah, you know what? How about we do that tomorrow? We go and get ourselves, uh, get ourselves some, uh, get some, get ourselves some reeds, you know, some reeds. I'm sorry if my contact's lacking, you know. I, I'm kind of like just subconsciously talking, which tells you a lot about the active mind, but whatever. Oh, this is the tooth trap: wood, rope, teeth. Oh, you little, you little fucker. I learned from you the last time. I can build a hay wall. Not too interested in that. Oh, we can build a rabbit hutch, but that's not really interesting. Bird cage is definitely tempting. For, to make papyrus, though, we need four reeds. So we would have to somehow scoff up six reeds down there just to make it even worthwhile. Which actually, I say that out loud, and I only have 11 gold, but I wouldn't be afraid to, and I'm, I'm gonna, this guy's gonna get mad, I'm putting the buffalo wall in there because I want a red rock when I go down there, because I need to be nice and toasty when I do things like this, because the, what are the mods that I use, is, well, it's not even a, it, it tells you the temperature of the thermal stone specifically. Uh, come on, thermal storm. Warm up. Warm up. We're at 18 minutes. Third, 18 minutes. 43 seconds right now. Now 44. Now 45. 46. 47. 48. 49. 50. So nights, you know. Yeah, I'm surprised none of the hands have come out and grabbed my fire. You know, for a game of Don't Starve, I've kept both my sanity and, um... I've kept my stats pretty well overall. I think I would want my heart or health to get up here quite a bit. I want it back in the 100 range. But I think for a gameplay, and I've played quite a bit before this, before I got into YouTube, I've had some really nasty gameplays or gameplays where I've had so much hunger, so much health, but my insanity was just god awful, you know. So, let's go make our way down here. We can pick up poop. And we can, I, I hope reeds spawn in. Oh, they do. Okay. Good. Alright, we're gonna need a lot of these things, so let's get to work here. 
Don't pick the spiky bushes because they'll just hurt you. And hey, you know, this in the same way, we'll get some exploration done in. You know? Uh, where are the reeds, though? I need reeds and spiky bushes and enemies. Okay, more reeds. Alright, let's keep it going. I think we need two for the blow dart. Okay, I'm starting to get hurt. Okay, where's some reeds? I think if I can loop back up this way. I'm gonna start taking damage here. You know, let's, um... here because I'm going to burn these trees right here. And that's going to get me nice and toasty and warm. And would you look at that? There's spiders here. Uh-oh. Okay, let's pick up this. The swamp is not a hospitable place. As you can see, there have been more things trying to kill me just right now than there probably have been the entire freaking game. Beefalo do come down pretty close to that, so that is an interesting little thing there. You know, maybe I can use that to my advantage. You know, get the beefalo to start a swamp war. That sounds like something the History Channel would probably have on swamp. Next time on Swamp Wars. Nice to meet you, I'm so hungry. Nice to meet you, hungry. Alright, we should probably get home. We've probably overstayed our visit. Uh, we have enough for the papyrus, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna have enough then for the blow dart. Uh, food, though, for the bird cage. Or was it science for the bird cage? Okay, that's it. Alright, just keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Come on. Come on. I need to. I need to. I need to eat. Like. Some health restoring food. And we're gonna get home and we're just gonna throw this. 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 This poop. Right on the fire. Just right on the. Fire. Okay. So for survival. Where's the bird cage? like to know where the bird cage is. Is it in science? Because if the bird cage was in science, that would be a little weird. I bet it's in structures. Bird cage. I need two papyrus, six gold, and two seed. Oh. Two papyrus coming up. We can grab the gold. And we can grab the seed right out of here. Oh, we can actually grab the seed right out of here. We can pick this all up. And I think we can build a bird cage. Chester, come this way. Thank you. All right, let's build a bird cage. Nice, cool. Okay, that's cool. All right, now that we have a bird cage in play, actually, let's get a bird. Why not? Okay. Put that away. The rod. Oh, I have, I have petals here. And then you should do one bit of health each. Yep, at 89, so that's good. Uh, we have some meatballs. That'll give us some health. Bird, yes! Haha. <laughs> I've imprisoned the bird. This is great. This is truly a remarkable day, and I've not checked my traps either. Darn it. I'm horrible at this. No, wait, he's going here, right? Yeah, there. We can put more webs in there. And we actually have a spider gland to help with the healing. So we're back at a hundred. How swell. Um in dress. The sewing kit. Let's 
it's gonna be two teeth. Some of this. And log. There you go. Definitely gonna be worse. The spider silk. Spent. No doubt. Because what the sewing kit does is it um it replenishes the um it basically replenishes um, the durability of your item. So this is at 50. Oh, but that has five uses. I'm not going to use it. it. It basically replenishes the durability. So when you make really rare and expensive items, like, say, the beef flow hat, you know, yeah, you can rebuild it. You don't have to keep on making <sighs> new beef flow hats. But we have a bird. We have a pet bird now. We're going to drop. And this video has been 25 minutes. So yeah, you guys, this is us just surviving in winter. If you enjoyed the video, please uh, like and subscribe. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.